the governor of Texas is under pressure this morning to stop the planned execution of a woman named Melissa Lucio. Back in 2008, she was found guilty in the death of her two-year-old little girl. Lucio's lawyers say the evidence shows it was a tragic accident. Her supporters include nearly half of the Texas legislature, including members of both parties, and even some of the jurors who convicted her. Lilia Luciano has been looking into this case. Where my mom would go to the Bobby Alvarez carries the words of his mom tattooed on his chest. I'll always be with you and here I'll always stay. And I decided to get it like right here because, you know, it's close to my heart. But time is almost up for Melissa Lucio and the cry to stop the clock is getting louder. I don't want my mom to be executed. The mother of 14 children will be put to death on April 27th, accused of killing her two-year-old daughter, Mariah. It was an accident. If they go through with it, they'll be killing an innocent, an innocent woman. Bobby Alvarez was seven when Mariah died. He says Mariah fell down a flight of stairs and died two days later. That's what Lucio told first responders and the police. But when the medical examiner saw the toddler's body covered in bruises, it was ruled child abuse. And investigators zeroed in on Lucio. Now, are you a cold-blooded killer? No, I'm not. Or were you a frustrated mother who just took it out on her for whatever reason? No. Lucio, who was pregnant with twins at the time, endured over five hours of interrogation where she denied killing Mariah, says Vanessa Potkins at the Innocence Project. Over a hundred times she asserted her innocence. They refused to listen to her, sending the clear message that this interrogation wasn't gonna stop until she told the officers what they wanted to hear. And she did, saying she spanked the child, but never admitting to the use of deadly force. That demonstration sealed Lucio's fate. Why do you think she confessed? Her so-called confession was the result of highly coercive interrogation tactics, some of which are so coercive that they're no longer used today. Experts on false confessions who reviewed the tape say she was especially vulnerable as a victim of child sexual abuse and later domestic violence, developing defense mechanisms. Child Protective Services records show Lucio was neglectful but not violent against any of her children. But jurors didn't hear testimony from any of Lucio's kids. Tivon Shardle is part of Lucio's current defense team and says jurors were not given the full picture. There's been just a concerted effort to keep this evidence from being considered Evidence for years. that could have been exculpatory. Oh, it's definitely exculpatory. The medical examiner concluded Mariah died from a blow to her head, but today multiple expert pathologists agree Mariah could have suffered a head injury from a fall leading to a disorder that causes extreme bruising. It looks from the outside like somebody has, you know, gotten, say, punched. It's very common to be mistaken for abuse if you don't look for the signs. In 2019, the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals ruled Lucio had been deprived of her constitutional right to present a meaningful defense and overturned her conviction. But in 2021, the full court upheld her conviction for procedural reasons, a technicality. What would it mean to you to have your mom back with you? Uh, everything, um, you know, that's my mom. I even told her myself that I consider her my best friend. Um, sorry. <laughs> now the power to save Lucia lies in the hands of Texas Republican Governor Greg Abbott, the Board of Pardons and Parole, and the current Cameron County District Attorney, whose office said in a statement to CBS News, a jury of Lucio's peers rendered to her a verdict. We cannot allow the rule of law to be suspended and substituted by a court of public opinion. But at least four of those jurors now agree Lucio should get a new trial, given the new evidence and testimony they didn't see. She also has the support of an unprecedented bipartisan coalition of 87 Texas lawmakers. As a conservative uh, Republican myself, who has long been a supporter of the death penalty in the most heinous cases, I have never seen, I have never seen a more troubling case than the case of Melissa Lucio. As the days tick down, Bobby is soaking up every moment he has with his mother while holding on to that small speck of hope. However, even if Lucio's death penalty is commuted, she still isn't going home anytime soon. Do you envision a future where your mom is out and hanging out with you? I do. You know, I shared my mom that there's times where I do have dreams about her and it's always just like, 
folding clothes or, you know, just talking, you know? And it's never those extraordinary things, it's just those little moments. For CBS Mornings, I'm Lilia Luciano. Seems to be a lot of reasonable doubt raised in that case. And the fact that you have bipartisan support and the jurors is what gets me. The jurors who convicted her are now saying something right. different. Yeah, and the multiple expert pathologists who agree that she could have hurt her head falling down yes. the stairs. Yeah.